Spatial computing is the art of teaching machines to understand the physical world. Without a sense of movement, scale, and space, digital devices and virtual beings cannot convincingly or practically act in the world of humans. Here, at the dawn of the era of AI, seven of the ten largest companies in the world are already pouring billions of dollars every year into bridging the physical and digital world through spatial computing. The transition to spatial computing as a paradigm is poised to be one of the most impactful events of human industrial history, on par with agriculture, the printing press, or the internet, because spatial computing is what allows digital things and AI to understand the physical world. It's the key to the future of AI, robotics, smart cities, and the metaverse on Earth and beyond. The stakes could not be higher. Hanging in the balance is not just the question of who gets to power the smart cities, robotic fleets, and metaverses of tomorrow, markets that combined are worth trillions of dollars, but also what path civilization will take in regards to privacy, cognitive freedom, and human dignity. Today, we will show you how the PostMesh the world's first collaborative and decentralized spatial computing protocol enables industry and life-changing applications through the precise and shared placement of digital information in physical space. The PostMesh is a way for multiple devices to collaboratively understand a physical space over time. You can think of it as an external sense of space that devices and AI can connect to, to read, write, and own information about the physical world. At the core of this collaborative protocol is an innovative blockchain-enabled reputation and rewards system that ensures privacy-preserving interactions, data sovereignty, and decentralized control. The PostMesh is a deep in for AI perception, a decentralized network of participants collaboratively mapping the world. At the intersection of spatial computing, AI, and decentralization, the PostMesh has laid the foundation for civilization-scale infrastructure funded, owned, and operated by the people. Today, we want to show you how the PostMesh is already adding value and disrupting several industries, the scope of these transformations, and the path that this world-changing project has laid for the future of communication. We start in the world of retail, an incredibly dynamic and challenging work environment, employing tens of millions of people worldwide. Retail environments are complex, with constantly changing lineups, layout, and staff. Globally, every other retail worker stays at the job for less than a year. As a result, Walmart, for example, spends over a hundred million dollars on first-day salaries every single year. Training staff and maintaining a knowledge base over time is one of the great challenges facing retailers globally. To face this challenge, we used the PostMesh to create Cactus, the world's first spatial task management system for retail, allowing the retailers and their staff to communicate with each other more effectively than ever before. Piloting with some of the greatest retailers worldwide, we found that Cactus helps them save time and improve productivity, but perhaps most interesting of all was seeing how spatial computing can help empower employees with cognitive impairments, helping them really thrive in the complex retail environment. One of these pioneering retailers was Coop in Sweden. 
we piloted with them in their massive and beautiful flagship store in historic Visby. Det sparar mycket tid vid överlämning. Man sparar tid för att kunna lägga den tiden på kunderna, vilket jag tror är väldigt viktigt att hjälpa kunder istället. Så jag tror att vi sparar kanske en kvart varje dag. Just det, överlämning är ju den där vi sparar mest. Liksom. Eh, väldigt lätt att lämna över. Man behöver inte vara kvar till nästa komma för att säga exakt vad som ska göras. Eh, det tar ju ganska mycket tid av oss. Eh, ja, gör det uppgifter till de som kommer på kvällen så, så är det på papperslappar. Mm. De hamnar i fickan för man ska gå under dagen och hitta uppgifter. Mm. Eh, och sen när man tar fram eh, Lappen så är den skrynklig och så syns det inte, så då får man ofta skriva om. Mm. Det blir så mycket enklare med bild och ord. De tycker nog det är mycket enklare att veta att de själva har gjort det rätt också. Det är inte lika mycket osäkerhet för dem. Mm. Undrar om det var, var det så här det skulle vara eller var det liksom... Utan här, det står ju allting. Mm. Och de ser ju bilden. Man får lättare överblick också. En del har lite svårt när det blir för mycket saker som ska göras på en, på en lapp. Om man har 10-20 saker som ska göras, då blir det så överväldigande. Man liksom säger inte riktigt vad prion är. Men får man det i den här, bara kan bocka av också om man säger att det minskar. Liksom, då... Ja, så egentligen vi har ju en medarbetare som har utnyttjat det här allra mest. Som har haft lite svårt med listor där vi har fått förklara och förklara och förklara. Och nu flyter allt klockrent. Mm. Alltså det är verkligen så här, alla uppgifter blir gjorda, alla uppgifter blir gjorda rätt. Vi behöver inte liksom förklara det igen. Nej men det var inte så här jag sa. Han som har haft problem med listor, mm. som liksom har märkt att han har verkligen lyft sig. Men sen är det ju många som, alltså arbetstempot blir han på ett helt annat sätt. Mm. Man hinner göra fler uppgifter än vad man har gjort innan. Och att folk inte behöver gå lite reda på oss för och fråga vad som ska göras utan de tar en telefon. Man kan ju märka för på eftermiddagarna är de i två mm. och då kan det ju vara att ja, jag ska göra fler uppgifter än det och de tävlar lite mot varandra. Nej men och sen har det ju varit eh, några andra avdelningar som jag är vill haka på det här också som är avvis på hur bra det funkar för oss och hur smidigt och enkelt det är att ge uppgifter till andra. Therese Doftin heter jag, äh, är säljchef på Stora Coop Visby. Annika Hägglund heter jag och jag är kolonialansvarig. We are incredibly proud of the astonishing results of this pilot and the role that the Postmesh played in improving store productivity and empowering the store's staff. But we didn't stop with spatial task management. The fine-grained positioning enabled by the Postmesh allowed us to push even further, building out product search and route optimization, allowing even first-day staffers to find every product on the first try. Route optimization and product search is a game-changing feature for retailers, showcasing how staffers and shoppers alike can benefit from spatial AI. Having a digital assistant that helps you navigate the complex retail environment is not only empowering, but directly impacting the bottom line. Route optimization and product search can shave minutes off of each picking order, leaving more margin for the retailer, but that's just the tip of the AI retail iceberg. Earlier this year, we demonstrated how computer vision models can be radically augmented by PostMesh integration, allowing the AI to generate tasks and recommendations directly in the physical store, complete with instructions and navigation for the human staff. Next, we partnered with Accurate, the leading AI platform for retail for some truly industry-changing features. Let's hear more from Accurate CTO, Daniel Stenek. So my name is Daniel Stenek and I'm co-founder of Accurate. And at Accurate, we help retailers sell like they should be. So basically what we do is we use advanced data analytics and we find these really important sales anomalies that indicate that a product isn't selling and that you're losing a lot of sales. You know, as a store manager, you know, you, you know your store well. You know it's selling, you know it's not, you know your customers. Um, but 
you know, you can't see all the patterns in the data, all right? This is where AI comes in. Like AI is very good at finding patterns in the data. However, our current analytics can't see in the store. And what I mean by that is they can't see where the products are located. They can't see what the customers are doing, um, you know, where they're looking, uh, how they're interacting with the products. Uh, however, uh, Alki's post mesh can, right? And by combining their post mesh with their analytics, we can really shine a light on what's happening in the store and go from insights to action. So store managers are really good at their jobs already, but with Accurate and Aoki together, they get superhuman powers, and that's the future of retail. Spatial AI, the marriage of machine perception and machine reasoning, is already creating industry-changing results for retailers worldwide. And together with our partners, we are rolling into thousands of stores in the near future. Later this year, we'll be showcasing product search and AR marketing for shoppers, together with one of the most exciting retailers in Northern Europe. Stay tuned. The future of retail is spatial AI working together with human staff empowered by spatial computing to run better and more profitable businesses. We predict that 100,000 retail locations will be added to the PostMesh over the next three years, adding billions of revenue for the retailers and improving the lives of millions of retail workers. But that's just retail. The PostMesh is so much more. Next, let's talk about facilities management and security. The precise placement of digital information in physical space is a game changer for the management and protection of our private physical spaces. Earlier this year, we partnered with an international security contractor with hundreds of thousands of employees deployed over over 40 countries to explore how spatial computing can change the security industry and how we keep ourselves and our spaces safe. The challenges are manifold. Knowing what needs to be done is only half the picture. You also need to know where things need to get done. And this is challenging in the poorly mapped spaces that security firms often operate in, especially with the constant changing of staff. The PostMesh allows for rapid collaborative mapping of a space, making that space accessible to spatial task management and remote collaborators. Let's have a look. This patrol officer is doing the rounds on a new client site where he has replaced the normal guard on duty. While on site, he uses AR navigation to quickly complete his tasks. Finding an issue, the patrol officer reports the issue to HQ for immediate feedback. Issues are reported with images, text, and a precise location that can be used for navigation or remote viewing. This particular issue will require input from the client. After consulting with the client, HQ remotely creates new action items complete with navigation. The space was collaboratively mapped using privacy-preserving 3D scanning and optional references to maps provided by the client. Setting up a PostMesh domain makes the site more accessible to your human and robotic workforce. We are tremendously excited about the way the PostMesh helps us keep our spaces and lives more safe, but also take great pride in enabling these features in the uniquely privacy-preserving ways enabled by decentralization and blockchain. The PostMesh is a collaborative protocol, and once a domain has been set up, it can be used by different stakeholders and different applications, allowing firewalled and privacy-preserving access to the spatial data.
We're already seeing leading facilities management companies, security contractors and venues use the PostMesh to make the most out of their space and their staff. At the core of the PostMesh is the concept of domains, the decentralized primitive of the PostMesh. The domain is your external sense of space containing your private data and serving your visitors. PostMesh domains are a radical departure from the centralized surveillance provided by the spatial computing offerings of the world's great tech companies. And we are incredibly excited to put this technology and domains into the hands of people like you. By now, it should be clear to the attentive viewer that the PostMesh represents a watershed moment in the history of computation and communication. Just as computers ended up touching on every industry and the internet touched every industry and mobile computers touched every industry, we can be sure that spatial computing will revolutionize physical businesses and how we interact with physical space. Aoki's mission is to improve civilization's intercognitive capacity, our ability to think, experience, and solve problems together with each other and AI. The greatest way to extend human reach is through collaboration. We are building consciousness-expanding technology to bridge minds, both digital and physical. The amazing advancements that we have shown you here today are just the beginning. The PostMesh is already proving to be an indispensable part of the infrastructure of the future. A decentralized network for machine perception, bridging the digital and physical world, funded, owned, and operated by the people at civilization scale. Participate in the PostMesh. This is how we win. Yeah.